Overcoming pronunciation hurdles. Mastering vowel length and consonant clusters for Arabic speakers. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a topic that's especially designed for Arabic speakers learning English. Understanding and mastering vowel length and consonant clusters. By the end of this video, you'll gain valuable insights and practical tips to navigate these common pronunciation challenges. English and Arabic handle vowel length differently. In English, the length of a vowel can completely change the meaning of a word. For example, ship and sheep differ only in vowel length, yet they have entirely different meanings. Now, Arabic does have long and short vowels, but the distinction doesn't necessarily change the word's meaning as it does in English. This difference can be a stumbling block for Arabic speakers. Overcoming the challenge of vowel length in English requires practice and patience. Start by listening to English words with short and long vowel sounds. Repeat these words, focusing on the length of the vowel sounds. Remember, it's not about stress or volume, but how long you hold the sound. Examples to practice include pairs like sit, seat, bit, beat, full, fool. These pairs have the same vowel sound, but with different lengths. Another hurdle that Arabic speakers often face when learning English is consonant clusters. These are groups of two or more consonants without any vowels in between. In Arabic, most words don't start or end with a cluster, which makes English words like strengths or twelfth tricky. When it comes to mastering consonant clusters, it's all about slow and steady practice. Start with simple two-letter clusters, such as saint, br, place, etc. Try words like stop, break, and plain. Gradually progress to three-letter clusters such as spl, in, splash, str, in, string. Remember, if it's too hard, break it down. For instance, say s treat instead of street until you're comfortable with the cluster. Remember, the key to mastering vowel length and consonant clusters in English is consistent practice and patience. Don't worry if you make mistakes, they're just stepping stones on your path to proficiency. Keep listening, repeating, and practicing, and you'll see progress in no time. We hope this video was helpful in your journey towards mastering English pronunciation. Until next time, happy learning!